are you feeling? Better. Better? Mm-hmm. Because you were sick? Yep. I had the flu. Yep. Let me take a step back. Yeah. Social <laughs> distance yourself. Well, what are you... So you're feeling better, though? Mm-hmm. What are you doing right now? I'm going to go swap out all of our old dry rotted water hoses with new water hoses. Okay. I'm going to thin the plants in the greenhouse. Okay, well just let me know if you need help. I'll be in my greenhouse. I'm in the greenhouse and had the heater going last night because it got down in the low 40s. Right now it is 74 degrees in here. And my plants, let me show you. Plants are just doing great. I know the other greenhouse update video you saw, I got a lot of feedback on how dry my soil looked and I, and it does look dry. Look, this looks pretty dry. But I always tend to record before I water because I don't know that anyone wants to watch me just water every single plant. But I water every day. So they do, especially with the heater on, they do tend to look like they're a little bit dry on the top. But it's really pretty superficial. So when you dig down just a little bit, it's wet under there. Um, the, the top just looks pretty dry. But I'm going to water and then I'm going to bring you back because I'm going to start to thin my plants. Because especially these zucchini are getting pretty tall and crowded. And I want to make sure everyone has a fighting chance. Well, the good ones have a fighting chance to keep growing big and strong. All right, everyone's good and watered. Um, I don't have very much room. <laughs> I think I need another greenhouse or a bigger greenhouse or two of these. What? You don't think I need another one? A bigger one? Excuse me, sir. He laughed at me. I didn't know he was listening to me. Whoops. Anyway, I do. I have like, look at this. I know, he, he knows I'm right. Watch. After this garden that I'm going to grow, he's going to agree with me. And all will be well. Right, bud? What? Just say yes. Yeah. <laughs> he said no. Ugh, rude. I'm just going to move stuff out for now. Today it's, I think, like 55 degrees right now. It feels really good in here. It feels good outside. Um, Luna, that's the bird bath. That's the bird bath water, Luna. <clears throat> okay. So I've got these tiny scissors. And they're sharp. And... If you saw one of my shorts, my YouTube shorts, I talked about the greenhouse um, and thinning and how I was going to have to do that here pretty quickly. Um, but if you didn't see the short, let me explain. But some of these cells have two plants or more in the pod. So this one pod right here has two plants. And I did that just to make sure that at least one would grow but these seeds did really well and a lot of them just germinated. Some of you mentioned that you would separate them instead of either cutting or pulling one out. Um, I don't want to pull one out because it will disturb the root system of the other one and then I could potentially lose both. So unfortunately I am going to have to cut the one plant that isn't doing as well as the other, that's smaller than the other, or doesn't have a second true leaf coming in yet. So I'm going to stick with the more vigorous plant out of the two and then just snip out the other. If I had a bigger pot and I had maybe one on each side of the pot and it looked like I could separate the roots um, more easily, then I, I would probably attempt to separate them. But these pods are so small that I may even have to transplant them from these small pots to bigger pots before I get them in the ground. Um, there, it's just to separate these in these little, um, 
these pots here, it would just basically crumble and fall apart. So I'm just gonna do the easy thing. Well, it's not really easy, it's kind of sad, but I'm gonna snip out the ones that are not as hardy. So let's look at this one, for example. We've got two plants right here. This one is really tiny and this one's really big. So I'm gonna go ahead and snip out this tiny one. So, sad day, but here we go. It's always painful for me. Mm. And the root system that's at the, that's with this little plant here will act as a natural fertilizer for the, as it um, degrades in the soil for this one here. So it's okay, but it's just the way of things. We gotta, we gotta let the big plant have a, an opportunity to, sur to survive. So I'm gonna do that now. It's easier to see with the zucchini, the true leaves, and what I mean by true leaves, I mean the leaves that come in after the seed leaves. So let's go back over here to zucchini because you may be able to see some still here. Do you see this little seed on this leaf? Well, these were the two leaves right here on this plant that came out of this seed. So these are seed leaves. True leaves are the leaves that grow in after. We had a visitor coming to talk really quick so I had to pause the video but as you can see these two true leaves are coming in right here one right here and one right here and these are seed leaves while we're cutting out the or thinning out the vegetable starts I noticed that my tomato plant has little suckers on it that can be taken out so right here and if you didn't see my tomato 101 video but at this little elbow here is a little sucker leaf and I'm just gonna pinch this off. Wait, what, what are the sucker leaves? Sucker leaves are just leaves in, that grow in the corners of the tomato plant, and they really just take a lot of energy from the plant. They don't really... Ooh. You got one? Mm -hmm. Good yeah. job. Look. Okay, awesome. Just make sure that you're only taking them from the little corners, okay? Don't pull off any other leaves. There we go. Okay. Yep. So we're gonna pull off the suckers when we see them. Fall out on this one. Okay, we are done with that one. Here, let me show them. So these are all thinned out. Only one per square. So now we'll just move on to the others. Okay, everyone's thinned out as much as possible. And I did leave some of these like chamomile and my green onions with um, more than one in one cell just because they're really um, fragile right now. So I'm going to just wait until they get a little bit bigger and then I'll thin these out more. But tomatoes have been thinned to one per cell. All of the melons, all of the cucumbers, all of the squash jalapenos, peppers, everyone has room to grow now. So even the basil, the basil was getting a little overcrowded so now there's just one basil per cell. And these little basils and things like this, I, they're microgreens and they're packed with nutrients so when I did thin them out I just ate them <laughs> right away. So didn't want to let them go to waste but all the other little um, plants I just tossed them in my compost over here so that's my little compost pile and I'll mix it up but um, yeah it's a really beautiful day so I'm probably gonna leave my tomato plants out here for now leave this rolled up and let them get some fresh air, some wind blowing in there. Right now my heater is just on fan mode. So I'm letting the fan blow a little bit on the bottom ones. Really helps to make their stalk stronger when they have air blowing on them. So I'm gonna leave this open. I'll come and check on it and make sure that no cats are in here because that would just not be good. But yeah, letting this air out, get some good airflow and We'll move on to our next project. I'm headed out to the garden because Connor said he was out here earlier 
and thought he saw one of my things was on the ground. My seed trays. And I really hope that's not the case. What happened? Oh my gosh. This is not good. no idea how this happened. I'm so upset. My green onions, my chamomile, they're just it's like one thing after another. I cannot even catch a break. The wind must have just really rocked this thing today. whole thing this light fell down this this plant was up here and I guess it just fell over and it took this down with it Everything was out on the ground. I mean, these, these seed pods don't even have soil in them any, anymore. So, I'm, I'm just, guys, I'm just, I know it doesn't sound like, I know, I don't, I'm sure you're like, it's just seed trays, but I'm just getting really discouraged. I really am. Because I mean, I guess I'll try to save this tomato plant if I can. Add more soil to it. Guys, I know there's worse things in life to be upset about than the seed tray. But, um, I don't know, I need to count my blessings and I can start over. It's not that big of a deal. But, I don't know. Just one of those days, I guess, where I'm feeling a little defeated. So, but good news, look. I guess I'll be using these tomorrow. <sighs> Don't mean to be a Debbie Downer.
and it'll all work out. Okay, guys, I need to apologize. Last night you saw me throw a little bit of a fit because these all fell down. And this one, I think, was the culprit because it was up here just like this one. And I think the wind may have... See how this plastic is kind of going in and out with the wind? Because right now it's windy and about to rain and this is kind of rocking back and forth. So that was dumb of me to set this up here thinking that it would just be fine because this is about to rock itself off too. I think what happened was this tomato plant down here up here fell and when it did it knocked this here because this was all the way pushed to the side and this just toppled with it um i watered these last night <laughs> i'm laughing just because i i mean laughing just you have to laugh um so I don't, I don't know what will survive. And I'm so surprised that some of these are standing up straight after they were completely smashed. Um, I don't know about any of that. I just set it back up last night and yesterday was such a good day. We had baseball and just the kids were having a good time and then I came home to this and it just ruined my night. And, I, and I'm kind of upset that I let it ruin my night over one flat of seeds. That's silly. Um, I have plenty of time to restart these and I'm going to restart them. And if any of these survive, then bonus. But if not, that's okay. I'm fine. I'm really, really okay. Oh my gosh. It's very windy. The wind is whipping. It's probably good that I'm in here right now while it's doing that so that I can kind of see what is going on because it's a little sketch in here. So I brought zip ties and I'm going to reinforce everything right now. Um, yeah, I'm going to reinforce everything because look at this. I don't, can you see this one tray? It's been pushed from the back. Here, let me switch you around. So this plastic has just pushed this thing all the way, probably hanging off a good six inches. It's not gonna take much for this thing to topple down on top of this tomato plant and everything else over here. So I'm gonna do some rearranging pretty quick before this storm blows in and, oh my gosh, blows all of my starts. But oh my gosh, guys, look at these. Ever since I thinned out, these have just taken off. These zucchini up here have really taken off. They have more room. All right, I gotta go, I'll be back. I'll show you what I did when I'm done. Okay. So I have just zip tied this here. So even if it does shake in the wind, it's not coming off. It might rock a little bit, but it's not gonna fly off. Oops. So let's add these little pots up here for now. Okay. So we've got everyone reorganized. And I just hope that if you take away anything from today or this channel in general, that you really just have to adapt and overcome. And but yeah, um, no, really, like when, when stuff like that happens, it's disappointing, but there's always another day. There's always another way and we figure it out. So we just rearrange, whether it's our greenhouse or our life and we overcome that obstacle. So we're going to replant, regrow, and had I not moved everything around today, I would not have noticed something. My oregano is starting to sprout. 
So I've got oregano, thyme, and dill now coming in. So awesome. And then I've got some the green giants coming in back here. Oh, an eggplant. Check that out. So cool. So yeah, I mean, I have extra green onion seeds. Um, I don't have any beefsteak extra, so I'm going to probably have to order some. And I have extra chamomile. So, and I've got extra peat pots. I will just start over with those. And I do have extra, see, look, these are chamomile here. So some that are in good shape. So I've got, I'm fine. We're going to be fine. Yes, this stinks, but we have reinforced now. And hopefully everything holds up. Unless this whole thing blows away. And in that case, if this whole thing blows away, then I will not come back. <laughs> you won't hear from me anymore because I'll just dig a hole and then bury myself in it. But I think we're okay. I think, I think we're fine now. Everybody's in a good spot. I've got the bigger oversized trays on the bottom. Everyone's reorganized. These are secure now on here, so I don't think they will fall over. They're in a better spot anyway. So, I don't have any mystery squash popping up just yet. Um, I do need to still water some, some stuff today, so don't come at me. I know some of my stuff looks dry. I will be watering. I water once, sometimes twice a day. But I'm really excited about my zucchini. I am thinking I probably am going to have to put them in bigger pots soon because they will not, I don't know if they're going to be able to hang out in these little pods before they go in the ground. They may outgrow their little space. Everything else may be able to make it until then, but they are really taking off. So, um, these two never did do anything. These two rows, this was Spanish, uh, a Spanish mammoth pepper, and this was a golden yellow pepper. Neither one has done anything. Everything else is still popping up here as far as peppers go. Um, these poblano peppers did not germinate. These market cucumbers did not germinate. Um, both of these were older seeds packets so that was just kind of an experiment um, this is all spaghetti squash here this one's kind of a little um, this is some yellow squash starting to come up and you can tell these some of these were saved by my cat so I don't know some of these might just be traumatized this is some more zucchini yellow squash So we're doing good. We're okay. We are okay. So we've got more beefsteak tomatoes down here. So that's okay. Not all is lost. These poor guys. So we're just gonna hang in there and see what see what happens. And it's kind of humid in here. 80 degrees and I've got this rolled up so I could let in some fresh air while I worked but everyone's rearranged really nicely and um, I'll keep y'all updated on how everything does and if anything falls down again but I'll be replanting these for sure so I'll catch y'all later <laughs>